This is Pirate Media. What seems to be the problem, lass? Captain Mug, what are you doing here? Arr, I'm here to help, lass. Captain Mug, my car won't start and I don't know what to do. Arr, I know more about pirate ships than cars, Missy, but we'll see what we can do. Welcome, lass. Sure glad I can help you. Now I've got you. Off the hook. Stafford. And tonight we're going to talk to you about um, some kids who had the special opportunity to present to KBAG their science projects. While they were there, they had a special visitor. Now to see you in the field. Uh, yeah, we all went to Hazard, and we were there to uh, for an exposition for the things that we were doing with our KVEC funding. And uh, I went with uh, the my, our first robotics team and the robot that we built for that. And uh, we were along with some kids who were working in Doc's STEAM class with their robots that they built in there, or uh, Miss Younger's projects where they made their own games and things like that. And we were all were just there to show the people at uh, the KVEC headquarters and Mark Zuckerberg and his foundation what we were doing with the money that they were giving us. To see what we are doing in the STEM, uh, STEAM lab. The STEAM is consists of science, mathematics, and English, all uh, subjects together. All my uh, 24 kids, they are uh, in the same class, like uh, science, math, and English, and they want to see how the sciences uh, correspond to um, math and English language. So that's why they just want to come here and then see how it is benefit uh, for the freshmen. Thanks, Celia. On October 28th, the Pirate Party Committee is planning to drive in theater, and here's more on the story. It's your favorite freshman reporter here with uh, Buffy's very own Morgan Lambo. I'm here to give you a rundown on the drive-in weekend. Uh, so when is it supposed to be? Uh, October the 28th, that's Saturday from 6 to 8, wow. 8 to 10. What inspired you to come up with that? Um, well, I'm really bored all the time, all the time, and I wanted something fun that we could do as a community and bring all of the community in, so I figured a picture in the park or a drive-in movie theater would be a good idea. So is it true that the funds from the drive-in movie theater are going to go to like, support the varsity dance? Yes, we're going to try to have a dance, and then we're hoping to support Spanish, too. In the well, that's something I'm looking forward to. And in other news, for all those ACTers out there, Coach Deskins is holding a ACT prep class, and uh, here's Maddie with more. This is Maddie Atkins reporting for The Hook, and this is my interview with Coach Deskins on his ACT practice. So what are you going to do with this, AC, with this ACT program? Uh, it's just a, a kind of a, just another one of those opportunities for kids to come in and kind of work on ne not necessarily just practice and taking it, but we kind of look at any kind of tips, uh, certain videos that we can watch, anything that will uh, maybe give us just, you know, small improvements in, in, in our practices. How do you think this will help the students? 
Uh, you know, the, the kids that score really well in the ACT, they already have a lot of those skills uh, as far as like vocabulary and things like that. It might help those kids that are kind of hoping to get that bump up from like the 20 to the 24 or, or try to get that kind of movement. So that's kind of the group we're focusing on. What is your favorite part about this practice? Ah, there's nothing fun about the ACT, but <laughs> uh, the favorite part would, would ultimately be seeing the kids like actually seeing the improvement because there's things that you can do in English and in reading that once you practice it, you, you will see the improvement. So I, that, that would have to be the, the funnest part, I guess. Hey folks, how's it going? It is me, Cade Watson, Cade Money Watson at the sports desk. And uh, first off for our sports, uh, last week Belfry went and played Floyd Central and won by a score of 53 to nothing. And we have Jacob Witt with some interviews and some highlights on that. This is Jacob Witt from Off the Hook Sports. Belfry and Floyd Central battled it out. The first touchdown was scored by Tavier Hunter and after that it just kept getting worse for the Jaguars. Peyton Hensley led the Pirates with four attempts, 94 rushing yards, and two touchdowns, alongside Avery Brown, who threw two for two, a total of 74 yards. I asked Coach Tackle what motivated this team tonight. Here's what he said in the locker room. I kind of feel like they just get motivated every every week to, to be the best they can be. You know, we don't really think about opponents. Uh, we think about, you know, down the road in week 15, so we kind of take it week by week. And, uh, I mean, really, that, we're, we're just self-motivated in that way. And next, we have last week's actual football game when Belfry played Cabell Midland and they won by a score of 35 to 14. Derek Wellman got player of the game and we don't have any highlights on that, but it was a good win for Belfry and uh, we're proud of our team. And lastly, we have Kylie Gollyhue with Soccer Senior Night and we have Haley Blackburn with Volleyball Senior Night. We will get you to the clips on those now. How does it feel to be a senior in high school and for this to be your last soccer season? Uh, I'm happy to be a senior, but I'm sad that soccer's over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sad about it because I don't, <laughs> I don't want my soccer season to be over. Yeah, really? And I don't get to play. It makes me real and sad because I love all y'all and it's just, yeah, I love everybody. It's just going away yeah. too quick. It's good to be alive right about now. <laughs> On Monday night, our volleyball team celebrated their senior night in their game against Paintsville. Congratulations to the seniors, Kenzie King, Holly Copley, Shelby Bailey, Brenna Bishop, and Corey Del Scott. And folks, that is all from the Pirate Sports Desk. I am your anchor and host, Cade Muddy Watson, and I'm signing out. And I'm Sarah Waddell. We're here interviewing Kevin Nesky, asking him a few questions about his life. Number one, <laughs> what was the most important thing you accomplished in your life so far? Uh, I would say that the most important thing I've accomplished would, would have to be my marriage, my kids, uh, just having a job every day, being successful. Question two, what do you miss most about high school? Uh, you know, just the one thing I see kind of missing today and what I felt like was the funnest part, kind of held the whole school together, was, was the home ec department. I, you know, just, I miss home ec. Question three. As a teacher, what caused you to go into this career path? I, I don't think a lot of people choose to go into teaching, but this is a career that I think that, that you are chosen for. It, it's just the type of person you are, and I think the Lord kind of puts you on that path early in life. Hi, and welcome to a new segment we like to call Class vs. Staff, where we put a student up against a teacher to see who comes out the court. And today's episode, we have Austin Stafford and Coach Jackson competing in a game of flip cup. with your BHS features. To start off, let's start with the seniors. You need to get your FAFSA in as soon as possible. The opening day was Sunday, October 1st. You need to get that in as soon as possible and you need to fill it out no matter what. First come, first serve for the money. You need to get before the money runs out. 
Um, and then we have a varsity court dance in January. If you want to join the committee, you should talk to Miss Mahan and get in on that action. And that's all. Hello, I'm Samantha Smith, and today I'm with Jerry and Yanni Carla. So, how do y'all feel about anchor period? Okay, the anchor period is good for people who need tutoring. I think. Okay. Um, I think the anchor period is good for my gift work. Okay, I agree also. Thank you. And we're talking about the new anchor period with our principal, Mr. Gannon. So, how do you feel about the anchor period? Our... I think it's great. Uh, we're already seeing some positive things from some of our students. Our teachers are really good right now. Our students about it. Okay, thank you so much. Guys, wait! I gotta ask you one question. Oh, okay. So how do y'all feel about anchor period? I like it lets you make it a big taste. I think it's fun because you just really get to hang out with your friends, sort of mess around for 30 minutes. And that's all we have for today. Hey, get to class. Having trouble with your vision? Visit Lambert Eye Care, a family business owned and operated since 1978. Dr. Lambert is board certified in ophthalmology and has 20 years of clinical experience. Lambert Eye Care cares about all of your vision needs. Hey, Miss We gotta survive. We just got we I retire. Hey dog, did I have open heart surgery? Uh when it, what day is that? Friday? Like this Friday? Oh I, I can't make it man. I we got a Belfry game. Oh it's life threatening? Uh, it's, uh, I'll just watch Belfry first. Bye. Uh, well, we're gonna smack whatever team we play this week. I mean, yeah, we're undefeated. Oh, we're a bunch of dogs. Yeah. So who we got this week? Uh, check the schedule. Oh, Belfry. Yeah, dude. You know, I gotta wash my cat that day, man. I'm out. Dude. I gotta play my dog birthday party. I guess I just won't go. 